Welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Hub. Today we are just outside of St. Elmo, Colorado, and we're going to try the Iron Chest Trail. As you can see, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. Um, it's early September, and this area just got hammered by an early season snowstorm. So I think a little snow on the ground is going to definitely make this trail more difficult. It might not be a good idea to even try it, but hey, here we are. We're going to do it anyway. Um, it's a rocky trail. There's about a quarter mile rock garden, I guess, that we got to get through. And so it should be pretty exciting. And then up to the Iron Chest mine site. It's an old mining road. So there's a, an old mine site at the top from what I gather. So here we go. I was afraid that the ice and snow would really kill my traction, but there seemed to be just enough rock for my tires to grab. This section of the trail is, without a doubt, the hardest portion of the entire thing. There are some high drop-off shelf roads to come, but those are easy, if you can suppress the thought of rolling off the edge and dying a horrible death. So far, so good. Um, got a little bit of a climb here. Got a little shack there with a sheet metal exterior. Looks like an outhouse maybe, but not really. Who knows? Uh, some big rocks right here. Let's see. Thank you. 
This is the first spot that I really got jammed up in. It was a tight squeeze between some pretty large rocks. This is also still on a fairly steep climb, so the ice wasn't helping me very much. No spotter here means that I didn't understand exactly what was in front of me. I shouldn't be trying to climb these big rocks on my driver's side. Backing up was difficult because of this rock. Fortunately, I was able to feel my way off the rocks that were hanging me up. This has got to be one of the longest natural rock gardens in the world. I imagine that when this was a mining road, they filled in some of the gaps with finer rocks and dirt, and all of that has just washed away today. I can't imagine wagon wheels holding up well through this. And just like that, the large rocks disappeared. The remaining trail is narrow at times, and careful navigation to avoid trees is necessary in a few places.
These are the two switchbacks on this trail, mostly uneventful, but at this point you really start climbing and you can see and feel it. Well, unfortunately, a giant rock has slid into the trail. And just after that, there's a pretty giant uh, snow drift. Uh, I guess sometimes you don't get to make it to your destination. But uh, it's not too surprising. There's a huge uh, like slope there. And of course, there's a huge slope here. And there's a huge slope right next to the vehicle. So now I just got to uh, very carefully back down this icy shelf road. That doesn't seem like a good idea or too much fun, but we gotta do it and uh, hopefully find a place to turn around in not too far. I was able to catch a glimpse of the iron chest mine site with the drone here. You can see the road is pretty snowy after the rock slide. Alright guys, I found a relatively wide spot in the trail to get myself turned around. I'm uh, facing the right direction now, which feels really good. Iron Chest is a pretty fun trail, big rocks, but unfortunately today we're locked out of the Iron Chest. Oh well, I guess uh, with all the recent snowfall, I uh, kicked one of those rocks down the, down the hill, so that's unfortunate, but you know, that's the name of the game. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.